Good morning students. Hope you are fit and fine at your places and enjoying the online classes. Students, as we have started the chapter work and energy and we have already discussed about the topic work in the previous lecture. Today we are going to discuss about the term energy and basically we are going to focus upon two types of energies that is potential and kinetic energy. Students after the completion of the topic you will be able to number one define potential and kinetic energies. Number two, correctly identify the type of energy involved in the given situations and then enlist the formula for potential and kinetic energy and lastly you will be able to apply these formulas in the given numerical problem. Means after the completion of today's video you will be able to do all these outcomes. So please note these outcomes and then check yourself have you achieved these outcomes. Okay. So before starting let's have the quick revision that we have done in the previous topic. First of all we have discussed about the term work and then we have discussed this and uh, concluded that work is nothing but the when the force is applied on the object and it cover certain distance means when the force displaces the object we call that work is done this is the scientific meaning of term work okay and from mathematical formulation may humne sikha ki there is angle cosine of the angle also that is involved and this angle help us to identify whether the work done is positive negative or zero if the angle is 0, then work done is positive. If this angle is 90 degree, then work done is 0. And if this angle is 180 degree, then work done is negative. Okay. And, and this angle is between the direction of force applied and the direction of displacement covered by the body. Okay, dear. So, let's start the today's topic. Energy versus work. What is the difference between energy and work? So students, it is hidden in one sentence that energy is the capacity to do work. Means we are able to do the work only if we have the capacity to do that work. And that capacity is called energy. Various forms of energies as you already know potential energy, kinetic energy, chemical energy, electrical energy, sound energy, heat energy, light energy, nuclear energy and so on. But as I have already told you that in today's video we are going to focus on potential energy and kinetic energy. So let us uh, uh, understand deeply the meaning of energy. Energy is ability to do work that we have discussed. Everything that happens in the world uses energy. Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Most of the time we can't see energy but it is everywhere around us. Okay. Let's uh, make this point more clear from the following examples. First of all, you can see what type of energy is stored here. These cells store certain energies and that is the I think chemical energy. Right? Chemical energy is stored in the cells. Similarly here a fast moving car it also stores certain energy. We will discuss it that this is the yes motion because of the motion which type of energy is. Yes, it is kinetic energy. And then here, from where do we get energy? Yes, yes, we get our energy from the food we eat. And here, this picture shows a dog is sleeping. This dog is also has, uh, this dog also has the stored energy in it. Okay, muscular energy, uske andar 
है स्टोर वी आर नॉट एबल टू सी दैट बट देयर इज एनर्जी स्टोर ओके हाउ इज ऑल एनर्जी डिवाइडेड कैसे हम उसको डिवाइड करेंगे तो बेसिकली पोटेंशियल एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जीज में हम इनको डिवाइड करेंगे एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी के फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इलास्टिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड केमिकल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी सो विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन एंड इन डिटेल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ठीक है सो लेट्स डिस्कस ऑल दीज एनर्जीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस मीन्स द एनर्जी दैट इज स्टोर्ड एंड वेटिंग टू बी यूज लेटर मीन्स सर्टन एनर्जी विच इज स्टोर्ड इन साइड द ऑब्जेक्ट जैसे स्लीपिंग पपीट इट वॉज हैविंग सर्टन स्टोर्ड एनर्जी द बैटरीज वर हैविंग सर्टन स्टोर्ड एनर्जीज दिस टाइप ऑफ एनर्जीज आर कॉल्ड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड दे आर वेटिंग टू बी यूज लेटर दे हैव द एनर्जी एंड इट विल बी यूज लेटर इट इज वेटिंग फॉर सर्टन कंडीशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर दिस लोड इज बींग हेल्प बाय दिस पुली एंड using this arrangement and it is uh, it has a stored energy stored potential energy and it is waiting when this caesar will cut this rope then it will release its stored energy and it will be seen that this effect will cause certain changes on the ground when we cut this then this energy there is energy in it and this energy will be seen here creating certain changes at the bottom okay so it is stored energy now what is gravitational potential energy here gravitational potential energy means the energy which is stored but due to the position the energy due to the position of the object is called gravitational potential energy and this gravitational potential energy depends how far it is from the ground that means height from the base then what is the mass of the object and third it depends upon the gravity and we'll see that the formula for this energy gravitational potential energy will be mass multiply by height multiply by acceleration due to gravity that is small g okay now students here this stone this stone lying uh, at the edge of this uh, road it is having lot of potential energy stored it is dangerous here because everyone knows that it is a uh, uh, it is certain at it is at certain height so it has mass also the so acceleration due to gravity is acting on it all the time hai na to what gravity is acting on it so it has stored energy that is gravitational potential energy let's see the third example also here this dog while moving on this rope it is at certain height it has the mass and the gravity is acting on it so it is also having the stored energy that is gravitational potential energy okay now elastic potential energy as the name is clear elastic so it will be the energy which is due to the compression or expansion of the elastic object here uh, uh, in this picture right pick here boy is using a ball and the, uh, this uh, uh, racket and in slow motion me dekho isko left side me when the ball is being hit it get compressed and again it get expanded and then move back so this compression and expansion this is the elastic potential energy okay the energy because of these compressions and expansions is called elastic potential energy okay the, the energy in the stretched band this is also the now what is chemical potential energy as we have already discussed the energy stored in the chemicals here coal the energy stored in the coal that in the, is called the chemical energy chemical bonds of the object me jo energy store rahegi that is the chemical potential energy is here the batteries also stores the chemical potential energies okay now another exa other examples of potential energies here this is a uh, stretched bands they have the potential energy hai na 
then uh, this is uh, a water it is at certain height to so at the top it has the potential energy that is why this energy is being utilized to move down to so at the height it is having the potential energy here this is the yo yo in the hand it is also having some certain stored energy that is potential energy stretched bow and arrow this is also the example of potential energy so students uh, note these two points very carefully number 1 the higher the object more potential energy it has and more the mass more potential energy means if, if the height of object is more then also it will have the greater potential energy but if the mass of object is also more then also it will have greater potential energy so let's discuss this example here one a is the brick and second b is the feather you have to uh, tell understand uh, tell which of these two object have the more potential energy uh, from the previous knowledge just answer it which will have the more potential energy yes yes the brick will have more mass as it has more mass then the feather therefore the brick will have more potential energy more mass more energy now here as you can see here the three figures a b and c just before solving this query let's uh, see uh, uh, note this point changing an object's height can change its potential energy okay the more will be the height more will be its potential energy now using this concept answer this question if you want if i want to drop a apple from the top of one of these three things where will be the most potential energy from at the top of this tower from the top of this chair or from the top of this uh, crane so answer is this this is the answer that is a tower which is at very high uh, largest height from all of from the a b c points the higher the object more will be its potential energy okay dear so let's uh, do the mathematical formulation of potential energy kaise ki potential energy ka formula hame milega so for this let us consider the object of mass m this is the object having the mass m and it is being raised to the height h okay height h pe usko leke jana hai beta usko move karne ke liye we need to apply yes we need to apply the force so force will be there the minimum force which is required to raise this that will be equal to the weight jitna iska weight hai us hisab se hame we have to apply the force so that force will be equal to the weight of this object and that is f is equal to weight that is mg and this object as it is gaining certain height therefore it will gain the energy also but that energy will be equal to how much we are doing the work on it that will be equal to that energy will be equal to the work that we are doing on it now this work done as we have discussed in the previous uh, lecture also this uh, the formula for work done is force multiply displacement now here the force is weight that is mg and displacement is how height it has gained how much height it has gained that is h so the work done will be equal to mg multiply h that is mgh now this energy is stored in the object and we have discussed that the stored energy is that is called the potential energy so students note this formula very carefully it will be very beneficial for solving conceptual problems as well as numerical problems so formula for potential energy is speak along with me formula for potential energy is m g h okay now let's discuss about the an, another form of energy that is kinetic energy how this stored energy potential energy get converted into kinetic energy yes when stored energy begins to move then object 
transfers from potential energy to kinetic energy. Now this boy as it starts moving what will happen it will gain the kinetic energy. So what will be the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is number one the energy of moving object. Number two kinetic means the movement. So whenever the object is moving, running, flying, we will say that the object have kinetic energy. Okay. So when stored energy is being used up, it is making the things move or happen and this is the kinetic energy. Examples. Yes. You tell first. Yes. Yes, the this is the example here. The boy is uh, sliding, skiing, kare, snow pee. This is the example of kinetic energy. Running boy and moving um, the motorcycle. Motorcyclist is moving very fast, so it is also having a kinetic energy here. Slipping boy. This is has slipped from this water, and it is also having a kinetic energy. Now, please note some important points about the kinetic energy. Faster the object moves, more it will have the kinetic energy. Means, jitna zada uski speed rahegi object ki, utni hi zada uske paas kinetic energy store rahe, hoi ki uske paas, okay? So, please note this point carefully. The greater the mass and speed of an object, more kinetic energy there will be. So, please note these two factors, mass and speed, okay? These are the two factors on which kinetic energy depends. By using this knowledge, let's answer this question. When these objects move at the same speed, okay, these two objects are moving at the same speed, which will have more kinetic energy? Here, one is truck, another is a small car. Both are having the same speed. So, which of these two will have greater kinetic energy? Yes, the object which will have more mass. So, semi-truck has the more mass. So, therefore, it will have more kinetic energy. Although, both have the same speed. Okay. Let's see the another example. An object has most kinetic energy when its moment is greatest. Using this, we are going to see one more example. When an object has the least potential energy, it has the most kinetic energy. Where is when object is being fallen from some height, then as it is falling, its height from the ground decreases, isn't it? Yes. So, it will have the uh, decreasing potential energy. As it reaches near the ground, it will have most of its energy gets converted into the kinetic energy. So, at that, that point when the object is falling at the uh, least distance from the higher ground that is uh, as it is just touching the ground it will have most of its kinetic energy and potential energy will decrease and it will become least okay so let's see the mathematical formulation of kinetic energy let us now express kinetic energy in the form of equation so better isko karne ke liye, you have to just be a little bit imaginative let us consider an object ma of mass m okay and it is moving with velocity u Kuch koi bhi object brain mein rakho, that is moving with velocity u mass of object is m okay as it is moving what will happen it is covering certain distance let the distance covered is s okay now object is moving that means it will have certain force acting on it that is f so work will be done and that work will be Yes, what is the formula for work? It is force multiply the distance or displacement covered. So, it will be W will be equal to F into S. Now, for writing these two formulas for F and for S, let us consider first of all for F. F ke formula ke liye kya karenge? As we are uh, knowing that uh, ob, uh, this force is F and object is moving and it is being uh, the force is being acting on it that means its velocity is being changing okay velocity change over here so let us see its velocity is changing from u to v so there is change in velocity that means acceleration a is there 
okay so let's a be the acceleration produced from third equation of motion what will we get yes third equation v square minus u square is equal to 2as from here you can write the expression for s so we can fill it here for, from this equation we get s equals to v square minus u square as such but this 2a will move to the denominator so we get s equal to v square minus u square upon 2a okay dear now for writing the formula for f yes what is the formula for f yes from newton's second law we have f equals to m a so using these two formulas of s and f we will fill here and we get work done as m v square minus u square upon 2 a get cancelled okay now this is the uh, energy when object is moving cert with certain velocity u and then after the application of the force its velocity get changed to v now if the object has starting from stationary position means starting mein wo move hi nahi kar raha force apply hone ke baad move kiya hai pehle uski starting koi bhi velocity nahi hai it is not moving so we'll take u equal to 0 so work done will be equal to mv square upon 2 u becomes 0 okay this is the kinetic energy okay kinetic energy is half mv square that this is the formula for kinetic energy please note this formula carefully and beta jo yahan pe humne formula kiya hai work done is equal to half mv square minus u square this is called work energy theorem this formula is called work energy theorem mark it here okay so students let's conclude what we have done today yes we have learned about two types of energies we have explored we have done the examples so all the energy get divided into two types either it is potential or kinetic and potential energy is the stored energy which is waiting for certain action to be done and kinetic energy is the energy of a moving object okay and the formula for potential energy is mgh but here g should be the small small g by mistaken it is capital here you must write m small g into h g is acceleration due to gravity and kinetic energy is half mv square okay this is square half mv square okay dear so students thanks a lot revise these topics again and try to solve the back exercise related to this topic thank you